Today, a video about one of my favorite things. Some people tweet me asking about what the, some of the objects are back here. Some of them make total sense, like my copy of Watchmen, and this globe, and my awesome Cthulhu, and my Elliot, who is adorable. But some of them don't make any sense at all. And this is definitely one of them. This is a rock. And I've had this rock for 25 years-ish. It was much bigger when I got it. But uh, I moved here to KW when I was about six years old with my mom. And right before we were getting in the big, huge moving truck, we're, we moved from Belleville, so it was about a four-hour drive. I don't actually remember, but um, I ran out to the front of our apartment building, and I grabbed a rock. Just like the, the smallest, the biggest rock my small body could manage, and it was about this big, I think. I'm, I was six. And I brought it, and I insisted that this rock had to come with us, that we had to have some piece of the thing that we were leaving to take to the thing that we were going to. Because we, 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 we were just we were, we were mo moving towns not because we hated it there, but just because we needed a bigger city with bigger opportunities. And that was where we were going to live and where we were going to go to school, or where I was going to go to school, and hopefully where we would settle. And we did. But I took this rock, and it lived for a long time as a doorstop. And it lived for a long time as paperweight, um, as a thing that moved with us again and again and again, and has moved with me forever. And every once in a while, it broke, and it got smaller and smaller until this is all that remains. And this is my very favorite rock. I have a rock collection. It consists of two rocks, this one and another one. That's why there's two of them. But... It is one of my prized possessions, not just because I've had it for a really long time, but because it reminds me of really important things. I mean, it reminds me that it is important to keep a piece of where you come from. And that looking at that piece and handling that piece will remind you of all the things that happened there. Um, it's actually really weird holding this brings back memories from my childhood of, of this town that I used to live in in this apartment building. The first time I played video games. The first time I watched TV. Um, <laughs> I remember the first time I watched TV. That's how rare it was when I was a kid. But friends I made in elementary school um, and things I did on the playground. And it's all, I mean, none of this happened around this rock, but that's what I associate it with. That's what I make it into. It's an object of power because I make it so. But the other thing it tells me, and it had a lot of things to teach me um, when I brought it with me, because it's busted over the years it has busted again and again and again but its power remains the same though it is broken and busted up and now you can see the inside it looks super cool i also like rocks so but although it is broken it isn't less of what it was and this rock will last forever if i smash this rock in two it will, it will just become two rocks. It won't be, its power won't be diminished at all. It won't be diminished in any way. If I smash this rock into powder, it will still have the same power and the same memory over me at any rate. And it makes me think about people. I mean, we talk about people sometimes that they're broken. Um, sometimes we feel broken. I feel broken sometimes. And the rock reminds me that that might be true, but even if it's true, even if I am broken, I am not less. Even broken people are still valuable, and they are still valuable in the same way that every other person is. It's a lot of thinking for a little rock, eh? Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Home, where the thoughts escape at home